In early 2025, Maxwell Chikambutso, a Zimbabwean inventor, announced a groundbreaking innovation. A self-powered electric vehicle, EV, capable of operating without fuel, charging or batteries. This claim, if true, could have disrupted the global automotive and energy sectors. However, despite the global anticipation, Chikambutso's invention was conspicuously absent from the 2025 New York Auto Show. This omission raises critical questions about the credibility of his claims and the broader implications for African innovation on the world stage. The New York Auto Show, held annually at the Jacob K. Javits Convention Center, is one of the most prestigious automotive events worldwide. It serves as a platform for manufacturers to showcase cutting-edge technology, unveil new models, and set trends for the future of mobility. The 2025 edition was no exception, featuring major automakers like Tesla, Ford and Kia, who presented their latest advancements in electric and autonomous vehicles. Given the show's reputation and global reach, the absence of Chikambutso's self-powered car was notable. If his claims were legitimate, the New York Auto Show would have been an ideal venue to demonstrate his technology to a global audience. Chikambutso's company, Seth Technologies, introduced the Seth FEV, an electric vehicle purportedly powered entirely by radio waves. According to promotional materials, the vehicle could reach speeds of 220 km per hour without the need for traditional energy sources. This concept, if realized, would represent a significant leap in sustainable transportation. The potential implications of such a technology are profound. A self-powered EV could reduce dependence on fossil fuels, eliminate the need for charging infrastructure, and provide a sustainable mobility solution, particularly in regions with limited access to electricity. Why was the self-powered car ignored at the New York Auto Show? Several factors contribute to the absence of Chikambutso's vehicle at the 2025 New York Auto Show. Lack of verifiable evidence. Investigations have revealed discrepancies in Chikambutso's claims. Reports indicate that investors who visited Zimbabwe to verify the technology found no working prototypes and were unable to conduct tests. This lack of tangible evidence undermines the credibility of the invention. Unsubstantiated claims. Chikambutso's assertions of creating a vehicle powered by radio waves have been met with skepticism from the scientific community. Fact-checking organizations have debunked these claims, highlighting the absence of peer-reviewed research or technical documentation to support such a breakthrough. Legal and ethical concerns. Further investigations reveal that Chikambutso has faced legal issues, including charges related to armed robbery and possession of an unlicensed firearm. These legal entanglements raise questions about his credibility and the legitimacy of his business operations. Government Disassociation The Zimbabwean government, which had previously endorsed Chikambutso's technology, has since distanced itself from him. Social media posts and public endorsements have been deleted, signaling a loss of confidence in his claims and a desire to avoid association with potential controversy. Absence of market presence. Despite claims of international orders, there is no evidence of Chikambutso's vehicles being available for purchase or demonstration. The lack of a physical product or market presence further diminishes the credibility of his invention. The treatment of Chikambutso's invention reflects a broader pattern of skepticism towards African technological advancements. Historically, African innovators have faced challenges in gaining recognition and support for their inventions on the global stage. Factors contributing to this skepticism include Limited access to resources Many African inventors lack access to funding, research facilities, and infrastructure hindering their ability to develop and showcase their innovations. Bias and prejudice. There exists a bias that undermines the potential of African ingenuity, often dismissing inventions from the continent as unfeasible or unproven without thorough evaluation. Lack of institutional support. 
Without robust support from governmental and non-governmental organizations, African innovators struggle to bring their ideas to fruition and gain international recognition. These systemic challenges highlight the need for a more inclusive approach to innovation that recognizes and nurtures talent from all regions. The absence of Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered car at the 2025 New York Auto Show serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of transparency, verification, and ethical conduct in innovation. While the concept of a self-powered vehicle is intriguing and holds potential, the lack of substantiated evidence and the controversies surrounding Chikambutso's claims necessitate a cautious approach. For Africa to become a hub of innovation, it is crucial to establish systems that support inventors through access to resources, mentorship, and platforms for showcasing their work. Additionally, global recognition should be based on merit and verifiable achievements rather than preconceived notions or biases. As the world moves towards sustainable and innovative solutions, it is imperative to ensure that all voices are heard and that inventions are evaluated based on their true potential to benefit society. As we reflect on the curious case of Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered car and its absence from the prestigious 2025 New York Auto Show, we're confronted with more than just a missing prototype. This story cuts across innovation, geopolitics, scientific integrity, and deep-rooted biases in how we perceive who gets to invent the future. Whether or not Chikambutso's technology holds water, the questions it raises about power, recognition, and equity in the global innovation ecosystem are too important to ignore. Africa has long been sidelined in the global narrative of invention, not because it lacks innovators, but because it lacks platforms, investment, and validation from international gatekeepers. Western institutions, media, and academic circles often dismiss African innovations until they are filtered, rebranded, or endorsed by institutions deemed credible. This gatekeeping denies many breakthrough ideas the chance to be tested, improved, or even believed in the first place. Maxwell Chikambutso's journey, regardless of its scientific merit, symbolizes a broader struggle faced by countless African inventors being taken seriously. Yes, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, but they also deserve honest inquiry, fair engagement, and collaborative scrutiny. If Chikambutso's car truly worked as claimed, it would revolutionize energy, transport, and sustainability. If it didn't, we would still need to ask why he felt his only path to being heard was to bypass traditional scientific validation opting instead for viral videos, mysterious demonstrations, and media buzz. The global North must confront its historical and ongoing tendency to doubt the South. Not just its technologies, but its people, its institutions, and its dreams. It's time we reconsider what we define as credible, what we deem as proof, and who we allow into our rooms of decision-making. We must build a world where African children grow up not just seeing themselves as inventors, but being given the same runway to develop and showcase their innovations as their Western counterparts. At the same time, there is a crucial need for more internal accountability within African nations. Governments and institutions across the continent must invest in robust research infrastructures, protect intellectual property, and fund local talent. They must also ensure that local inventors undergo proper scientific vetting, not for the sake of foreign validation, but to elevate the continent's credibility on its own terms. In the end, whether Chikambutso's self-powered car was fact or fiction, it gave the world something to think about. It revealed our hunger for energy independence, our desire for underdog breakthroughs, and the very real gaps in how the world receives innovation from the global south. We owe it to ourselves to close these gaps, not just to find the next great invention, but to ensure the future is built by all of us, not just a few. The road to the future may be electric, but it must also be fair. And that means letting every voice, no matter where it comes from, be heard, challenged, and respected.